What's up, guys? How's it going? So um, hear me out on this. The number 12, have you noticed that it pops up kind of all over the place? Like, it's pretty frequent. It's kind of a big deal. Well, um, you may think that's a coincidence, but um, what I'd like to argue here is, uh, is that there's actually a, a firm basis for why that's such an important number. And um, you may have noticed, like, it, so it pops up in, like, our calendar. It pops up in how we tell time. It pops up in, um, in religion quite frequently, um, even in music. And I'd like to dedicate a video to kind of each one of those. Um, before I jump into the number 12, um, let's just take a look at the number 360, a uh, much bigger number. But you may be familiar with that um, with regards to the unit circle, because you could think of like a circle has um, 360 degrees in it. Um, but where does that even come from? Well, it turns out that 360 comes from the, the Babylonians, like five, you know, 500 years BC. And um, they, they had 360 degrees in, in their unit circle. Um, but it's also kind of interesting, isn't it, that there's about 360 days in a year, and a year is basically a circle of the Earth around the sun, right, in orbit. Um, so kind of kind of interesting they, they picked that number. Um, they also probably picked it because, and maybe this is why they had to base 60, um, because 60 times 6 is, 300, is 360, so it's kind of a convenient um, mathematical number. So of course 360 can be divided by 6 or 60. It can also be divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 12, 15, 18, 20, 24, 30, 36, 40, 45, 72, 90, 120, 180, and 360. Those are all divisors of 360. Which makes 360 what's known as a highly composite number because it has more divisors than any number um, lower than it. But it's actually more than that. It's kind of a, it's a bigger deal than that. It's actually what's known as a superior highly composite number. And when I say it's a big deal, there's only 10 of these numbers between 1 and a million. And um, it turns out that 60, that base that the Babylonians use, is also one of those numbers. And this brings us to another number, another superior highly composite number, which is the number 12. And if we're talking about this circle, we could also think that um, in that circular orbit that, we, that the Earth has around the sun, there's 12 months. And, of course, where does that term month even come from? Well, month is what, another way you could think of it. And most languages actually have... Um, a strong correlation between, or it's the same word for month and for moon, and that's of course because a month is based on the on the lunar calendar. Um, and of course, for us, the month you think of like, oh, we got a, how many days are in this month? Is it 30, 28, 31? You know, you got, it's like kind of hard to figure out. But the, the um, ancient Babylonians did it, and the Hebrews actually did it a lot simpler. They just said there's 30 days in a month. But why 30 days? Well, the lunar cycle, like just thinking about one orbit of the of the moon around the Earth is. 27 days, um, but um, the Earth actually um, in that in that 27 days where that that um, the Moon is orbiting around the Earth, the Earth is actually rotating like 30 degrees around the Sun. So from our perspective, from the Earth's perspective, it looks like it's almost 30 days for a full lunar cycle to go from like a new one new Moon to the next new Moon, where a new Moon is the Moon isn't reflecting anything from the Sun to the Earth, or it's kind of where the, the Moon is between the, the Earth and the Sun. And that's, that's closer to 30 days, 29.5. So that's what the ancients used for a month. They used um, just round that up to 30 and much simpler than, than what we use. Um, but you think about it, in that, in that month, that 30, that 30 days, um, the Earth goes about 30 degrees around, like I mentioned. So you could kind of make that connection there that, you know, the way that one degree, one, one day we're going about one degree around the sun, which makes it even more kind of suspicious how why the Babylonians chose that, you know, that 360 for that unit circle, because it was like each degree is like one day around our sun. So it makes you wonder if they kind of had a heliocentric view of, um, of the solar system, but it, it doesn't, you know, that, that view didn't really come till much later. So it's, it's actually, you know, really surprising that, that they had it. So that's why you see that, you see that number 12 pop up, you know, with our, with the number of months that we have in, in a year. Um, of course, it doesn't stop there with how we tell time because we also think of a clock and it's got 12 um, numbers around, you know, it, takes, there go, it goes through 12 hours before it goes through a half day and then it kind of repeats over just like there's 12 months and then kind of that, the seasons kind of re repeat over. But um, the uh, 12 moons, you know, they go beyond just um, how we tell time too because if you could look at um, some major religions and how, how that that number 12 is so important to him. And the most obvious one is going to be with astrology, because perhaps you're familiar with the, um, the zodiac signs of, of, of astrology, which is still, you know, I think you could still consider it um, a religion. And those, um, 
those signs start with uh, Aries and then Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. And each of those, each of those signs represents a 30 degree of the Earth's orbit around um, around the Sun. So they clear those 12 signs are clearly um, tracing back to those 12 uh, lunar cycles, which are about 30 degrees. Um, so you can see that the number 12 is um, it's integral to our solar system, the sun, the moon, and the earth. And it forms the basis not only for the, our calendar and months, um, but how, also how we tell time. And also it, it forms the basis for the, um, some of the core um, components of a lot of the major religions. Like we just mentioned, mentioned astrology, but if you're interested, if you want to stick around um, next video, I want to talk about how it, it corresponds to other um, religions as well. Um, but if... Um, we're, while we're sticking with the science here, if you got any ideas of like where you've seen the number 12 pop up in sort of a scientific contest, context, um, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to, to see that. Um, but otherwise, uh, have a good one. And until next time, take care.